video, I'm going to show you how to knit a very basic square. This is a really easy pattern. It's perfect for beginners or even for children. If you already know how to knit and you'd like a slightly more advanced pattern, you can find that on our website. And if you prefer to crochet, you can also find a how to crochet video on our website. To begin, the first thing that you'll do is cast on some stitches onto your knitting needle. So you'll take one of your knitting needles and you'll need a yarn tail that's about two feet long. Drape the yarn over your knitting needle with the tail trailing off to the left hand side. Hold the yarn in place with your pointer finger and with your left hand put your thumb and your pointer in between those two pieces of yarn and hold the tails with the other fingers of that hand. Then spread open your thumb and pointer so that you're making a little triangle with the yarn. Then you'll bring the needle around the outside of your thumb, through that loop on your thumb, around the outside of the yarn on your pointer, and then back through the loop on your thumb and pull it to tighten. So again, I'll show you, I'll repeat that. You're going to bring the needle around the outside of your thumb, through the loop, through the loop on your thumb, around the outside of your pointer, back through the loop on your thumb and pull to tighten. So you're going to go ahead and cast on 35 and then you'll have the correct number of stitches for this square. Okay, so now you've cast on all of the stitches and it's time to knit the first row. And to do that, you will turn the knitting needle so that the yarn is on the right hand side and grab your second knitting needle. You'll insert the right hand needle into the first loop on the needle from left to right. Then take your yarn, wrap it around the back of the needle in between the two needles, pull a loop through and then pull that loop off the needle. And there you have knit one stitch. So again, insert the needle from left to right through the first loop on the needle. Wrap the yarn around the back and in between the two needles. Pull through a loop and then slide that loop off. And that's it. That's the knit stitch. It's as easy as that. So you'll just continue this stitch all the way across until you've knit all the stitches on this row. Once you've finished knitting the first row, it's time to knit the second row. And that's very easy to do. You'll just turn the needle again so that your working yarn is again on the right side. And begin this row just like you began the previous row. Insert your needle into the first loop on the needle. Wrap the yarn around the back in between the two needles. Pull through a loop and slide the stitch off. Sometimes this first stitch can be a little loose, so just give a tug on the yarn. You'll just continue to knit every stitch, making every row in the same way until your square measures nine inches long. So after you've knit for nine inches, your piece will look like this. And all that's left to do is cast off. And I'll show you how to do that. It's very easy. You'll begin by knitting the first two stitches of the row, just as you've done for every row. And then you'll insert your left hand needle into the second loop on the right hand needle from left to right and then pull it over the other loop and slip it off the needle. And there you have cast off one stitch. So now you'll knit the next stitch and then repeat. Just insert the left hand needle into the second loop on the right hand needle and pull it over and slip it off. You'll just continue this all the way across the row until you've cast off all the stitches. After you've worked all the way across the row, you'll have one lonely loop left on the needle. We have to finish that guy off so that it won't unravel. And what you can do is sort of lift up with your knitting needle to extend that loop and then cut the yarn tail to about six inches long. And just pull that yarn tail through the loop and pull it tight. The very last step is to weave in these ends. You'll need a yarn needle like this one. It's a needle with a really large eye, large enough to accommodate a strand of yarn. Just 
thread that onto your yarn and weave it underneath the knit stitches. You can go back and forth a couple of times and then the yarn tail will be hidden away. After it's woven in, you'll just cut the end and weave in the other side. And that's it, your knitted square is done. All that's left to do is to send your finished squares to Worm Up America, where volunteers will sew them together into wonderful warm blankets just like this one. A handmade blanket is such a comfort and such a great way to show you care. Thank you so much for joining me in helping Land's End to Worm Up America this winter. All it takes is a simple square to make a difference.